Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to get your add-in back if it disappeared on you. So if you have an add-in installed, or you had one installed, and it's not opening when you open Excel, maybe you have one of the Excel Campus add-ins, and it's no longer opening when you open Excel, it might have become disabled. So the way to get that back is we first need to go to the Excel Options menu. So I'm gonna choose File here, and then Options on the left side, and this will work in Excel uh, 2007 all the way up to 2016. So we got the Excel options menu open on the left side here. We're going to click add-ins and then down here in this drop down where it says manage, we're going to check this disabled items list. So I'm going to click disabled items and then click the go button. And now I don't have any disabled items right here right now, but you might see your add-in in here and that can happen. Uh, and it basically describes this right here. If Excel crashed or didn't close correctly, it might have automatically disabled your add-in for you. So if that's the case, just click on your add-in and then click the enable button right there. That button will light up and then that will re-enable your add-in and you can just click close. The other place you might want to look is the add-ins menu. So from this menu right here again, you can choose Excel add-ins and click go and that'll open up the add-ins menu here and it might be that your add-in just became disabled and you can just check the box. So if we wanted to, uh, let's say our tab hound add-in became disabled, to just check the box to re-enable it and then click OK and that will open the add-in and you can see the tab hound add-in and all the buttons right here. So hopefully that helps you out. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below the video and I'll be happy to help answer them. If you'd like to learn more about macros and VBA, then I have a free three-part video training series that will really help you out. In the first video, we write our first macro, and I also explain the Excel object model. If you've ever wondered what the dots between the words mean and what order the code runs in, then this video is for you. In the second video, we automate a common Excel task to create a summary report of all the sheets in the workbook. And finally, in the third video, we build a user form to export the sheets out of the workbook. You can learn more and sign up for the free training at excelcampus.com slash macros. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon.